So earlier this morning, I did a video on how Ted Cruz got busted flying to Cancun with his family for a vacation while the people of Texas by the millions were suffering freezing cold in the dark without power and water and other basic necessities. Some right wingers, however, tried to suggest that this wasn't actually Ted Cruz, that this is a left wing conspiracy or some sort of thing like that, that his hair is different in the pictures I showed you versus his actual photos recently, but that's not true. Fox News has confirmed it. I just want to make this quick video to bring you the proof, to bring you the, you know, the receipts. It says here from Fox News, Senator Ted Cruz flew to Cancun, Mexico with his family this week as Texas dealt with a winter storm that left millions without power. Fox News has confirmed. Photographs of Cruz, Republican Texas, at an airport began circulating on social media late Wednesday with people alleging that the senator had left the state for Cancun amid a major crisis. A Republican source told Fox News that the allegations Cruz was traveling to, Me to the Mexican city are true. Quote, the photos speak for themselves, the source said. And another piece of evidence. It's not just the photos we have of him. Yeah, his hair's a little different. It's not just the photos we have of his wife where it's kind of unambiguously her, but also we have information information about upgrade priorities. When you go on a flight and, and somebody can get bumped up from, you know, coach to business class or whatever, or business to first or, or coach to first, there's a priority list. And the airline Ted Cruz flew with makes that list at least semi-public, I'm guessing for transparency purposes, so that people know who, you know, is in line to get an upgrade so there's no nepotism accusations. So it's not just handed out to somebody because the stewardess likes them or something. And Ted Cruz is on this list. It says here, here's the upgrade list for this afternoon's flight from Cancun to Houston. Looks like Ted Cruz is on his way back. He's just narrowly missing the upgrade list. That's assuming that crew comma R is him. And I do assume that. And so you might be asking yourselves, why would it be R? Well, Ted Cruz's actual name isn't Ted Cruz. It's Raphael Edward Cruz. So R E Cruz, but he calls himself Ted. So he emphasizes the middle name, shortens it to Ted. He's Ted Cruz. I think he did it cynically because he knows that in Republican politics, a name like Raphael is a bit too spicy. So he wanted to be good old Ted, you know, really whiten up his name. And so he shortened the Raphael part, took that out. But he's really still on his birth certificate and on all of his formal documents, Raphael Cruz, R. Cruz. That means, guys, that he got busted and that he's on his way back. He's on his way back from Cancun to Houston. So we are going to keep our eye on this because if he comes back to Houston this afternoon, there better damn well be some media waiting for him, asking him why this guy who, as I covered in the video earlier today, has been telling people to stay home, telling people to hunker down, felt it appropriate to take a joy trip to Mexico with his family while the working class of Texas is freezing to death.